Once upon a time, in a little home near a large forest, there lived a little boy named Hensel and his sister Gretel. They dearly loved their father, but their stepmother was very mean. Hensel, Gretel, where are those children? We're just getting a bit of bread to eat, stepmother. Well, put it back at once. We've barely enough for supper. Surely we can spare a piece of bread, wife. You go to work. I'll manage the children. All right. Goodbye, Hensel. Goodbye, Gretel. Goodbye, Goodbye mother. mother. Now I'll fix them. In the wood we'll go, I will take that pair to a spot I know, and then I'll leave them there. When darkness finally falls, I will not be near them, loudly though they call, and no one will hear them. But Hensel overheard his stepmother and filled his pockets with shining pebbles, which he dropped to mark the path as they went into the forest. Here is the spot. Now, Hensel, you and Grace will play here until I come back for you. All right, we will. Off went the stepmother, but when she did not return at dark, Hensel led Gretel back to their home by the light of the moon on his shiny pebbles. Their father was overjoyed at their safe return, but the stepmother was furious. They flee back again. How oh, I'll never know. Well, tomorrow then, father, we must go. Once in the forest deep, Deeper I must take them, let them fall asleep. None will ever wake them. Hensel, do you hear her? Never mind. Save your breadcrumbs tomorrow, and we'll drop those instead. Early the next day, the stepmother led them even deeper into the woods, while Hensel dropped breadcrumbs unnoticed. Here now. Be sure you wait until I return. Hensel and Gretel waited till the moon came up. Now, Hensel, where's the breadcrumb trail? Why... The birds have eaten all the breadcrumbs. Oh, Hensel, now what will we do? Morning came, and the children walked until they came to a small cottage. Look, Hensel, a house of gingerbread. Let's try a piece. Mmm, this is good. Suddenly, an old woman appeared. <laughs> what are you doing? If you're hungry, come inside, children. You'll never want to leave me, and losing you would grieve me. Yet don't try to deceive me. You'll always find me near. Let Gretel do my cleaning. Keep Hensel in a cage. They'll never learn my meaning until a later stage. <laughs> now, the old woman was really a wicked witch. She placed Hensel in a cage and made Gretel scrub and sweep. Finally, the children found a chance to talk. Psst, Gretel! Hansel, what do we do? When the witch opens the door to feed me soon, you push her into the cage. Oh, Hansel, I'm frightened. Here, yeah, here, yeah. what's this? You go back to work. And here's some food for you, boy. <laughs> I'll just open this door, and then I will... <laughs> no, Gretel! Ah, let me out! Let me out! There, now she's in, and I'm out. And here's a copper kettle. Look, you're filled with jewels and gold. I'll carry that quick. Let's run. <laughs> run they did till they came to a lake where they found a swan who guided them part of the way home. I must leave you now. From here, the birds will help you. And so they did, right through the forest. <laughs> Imagine their father's joy when he saw them safe again. We have brought you home a treasure, and we hope it brings you joy. My best treasure is my pleasure in my little girl and boy. Oh, so little. Girl and boy. Girl and boy. Though so little. Now our troubles are behind us. On the cover you will find us. And if now you'll only mind us, punch them out and use each boy. 